guys and welcome to a new studio vlog. Today is Saturday and the the 19th and um uh what's new? What should I say? What do I do? I work later today so yeah um I've been working on some new notepads as you guys saw in the previous studio vlog which should be out this Thursday. Uh yeah, so today I think I want to actually test, wow look at my hair, this is a mess, um, it will be fixed later for work. So I'm going to actually test out some new sticker sheets that I'm planning on doing um, for the season, my favorite season, which is fall. Um, I love the whole like crisp air, like mornings, and oh, I love fall. Fall's my favorite season and in Canada it does not last long enough let me tell you but sweater weather um scarves and like light jackets and boots and leggings it's my favorite season ever ever so i have some sticker sheets coming out for the season and then i also plan some new halloween stickers um but yeah so i'm going to i've already designed them i or haven't I've done the drawings and the illustrations and colored them in and now I just have to rearrange them on um, um, what do you call it Photoshop and then we're going to test run the stickers so let's get started before I have to get ready for work Totally clicked the wrong program. I wanted Photoshop and not Premiere Pro. <sighs> Allergies are real. Oh, that must be why I missed my allergy pill yesterday. Great, that means I will have allergies for the next couple of days.
welcome back. Today is um, Sunday. It's Sunday. Do you like the curls? I was working last night and I curled my hair. It's fallen out actually quite a bit, but meh. Anyways, so I've been reading up on a lot of stuff. Wow. On a lot of um, things regarding Cricut. Like, I just... There's so many problems with it. Like, I was doing the cuts yesterday, right? And even though I did a calibration, it still cut really poorly. So I looked into a uh, silhouette. Um, originally, when I was looking at buying, cutting, like a die cut machine like this, I was actually looking to get a silhouette originally. But then... Michaels was having a sale for the Cricut, so I ended up buying a Cricut instead. And that's how I ended up with the Cricut. So, I've decided I'm going to try and sell my Cricut Maker to someone who would get, you know, more use out of it or better use out of it. And I'm going to get a Silhouette Cameo instead. Um, the Silhouette Cameo just, it's, I feel like it's more user-friendly for people who are looking specifically to make planner stickers with die cuts and kiss cuts all in the same um all on the same page whereas with Cricut you do have to tweak a few things to get it to do that but with a silhouette they have it all built into the program already and you're easily able to do both so um I've decided after having a Cricut for like two years, I just, I can't. There's so much wastage that goes with it, like in terms of the stickers that I just can't do it. Someone who might be using it for cutting out like vinyl and regular things, then yes, absolutely. The Cricut Maker is fine for that, but I just, yeah. Like, look at this cut. This ghost. This ghost is already like cut off the line. Like, look at this, hold on. Little ghosty man. Like, I don't understand. Why, Cricket? Why do you do this to me? And you know, if my camera would focus on my face, that'd be great too. <sighs> ah, look at that. Okay. So yeah, um, I've decided this is it. I'm done selling the Cricut and I'm getting a Silhouette Cameo 4. I'm just like, I can't do this anymore. Anyways, on to better news. I got something in the mail yesterday while I was at work that um, is going to help me make some things to put up on my Etsy shop. And that is... I haven't opened it yet, so I'll just show you the box, but... <laughs> oh, I can't show you the box. It's too heavy <laughs> and too big. You know what? I will do the unboxing in a moment. I need to go and make lunch first because I'm starving. I'll show you guys after. Bye for now. Okay guys, so I'm back and let's open up this bad boy. I'm gonna bring you with me. Let's go. Okay, so it's quite dark in here at the moment, um, which is why I turned on the light so you can see a little better. So I'm just going to direct you, direct you, as if you could see everything around here. Turn the camera over to this massive ass box and we'll open it together in the dark. Yay. Excuse my messy room. Oh, I'm losing you. Okay. This is the bad boy. He be heavy. He be very heavy. Okay, let's see if I can move you back so you can see my floor, essentially. Okay, and it's taped all over. Okay. 
Whoa. Okay. Freaking massive. Freaking massive. Now let's bring you closer to this bad boy. Ugh, once I get things out of the way, we little bold of me. Whoa. We can start cutting the notebooks. We can start cutting the notebooks. Yay! Bams has been waiting for this forever, or Dear Bambino, as you guys know. Okay, so quick update. I used the cutter and it trims beautifully. However, I wish maybe in the instructions it said to clean everything first because it ruined my first book do you see all the ink on there and stuff it's all over the edges of the pages and it's all over the cover of the book and then it also I accidentally chopped off like a bit of that so that's coming off that's great it also ruined the last book because there are also marks on these as well. Right there. And there are a few speckles like around. I don't know if you can see it, but this one is pretty bad. Like, hello, I put time and effort into making this. It would have been great if, you know, I could have been told that maybe I need to wipe things down first. But yeah, they're on almost all the book covers actually because this is the last book and there's like a little black piece on there and it's all over my freaking hands too now yeah um it is a great cutter don't get me wrong but if you're gonna get one of these definitely wipe it down first wow I'm blurry again definitely wipe it down first because you don't want it to get all over your products that you were going to sell on Etsy now I'm gonna have to remake these which is not great but such is the life of a creator. All right, guys, I'll get back to you when I uh, sort my mess out and sort myself out. <sighs> okay, guys, big news. I just sold my Cricut. What am I thinking? I'm thinking that with Cricut, the Cricut machine is better for doing cutting projects and like other kind of crafting projects. But when you're using the machine for print to then cut, I hopefully, you know, when I decide to get my silhouette, I think the silhouette is just better in terms of its programming. Um, being able to kiss cut and die cut all within the same frame without having to duplicate a background so that it cuts around it four times over is very versatile, I think. And it makes it so much more efficient than using a Cricut to cut stickers. Um, so if you're looking to mainly do stickers, I feel like the silhouette might be better. But of course, I can't tell you anything yet because I haven't even gotten a silhouette and I haven't tried it out. But I think I'm going to head over to Michael's tomorrow to pick up the silhouette after class, of course. Um, um yeah that or order it off the website I'm not sure which one I want to do because I feel like if if I order it from Michaels it's gonna be like Cricut where if I open it I can't return it if I decide I don't want it 
which makes it difficult, I think, personally. Um, but I don't know if the same rules apply if I buy it off the Silhouette website, so we'll have to see. Um, but yes, that is all for tonight, and I will see you guys tomorrow with an update on my Silhouette situation. Bye, guys. Have a great night. Hello! Why do I do that? Hi guys and welcome to another morning. It is currently... Uh, it's Monday. Um, at 11.30 I just finished my class and then I went out to Michael's really promptly after that and bought... Dun 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 dun! You can't see it right now because it's on the floor but I got a Cameo 4. And while I was there, um, I was looking online at like the stuff that they have for Silhouette and um, they have holographic sticker sheets. How awesome is that? I love holographic stickers and I've always really wanted to make holographic stickers but I don't have the funds to be able to get stickers from somewhere else and I really wanted to make them at home but Silhouette has holographic sticker sheets. What the what? What? So I bought a pack obviously and it comes with eight sheets. How awesome is that? Um, eight sheets for $12.99. That's not too crazy, I think. Let's 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 check it all. Twelve ninety oh twelve ninety nine. Each sheet is like a dollar sixty, which isn't too bad considering they are holographic. But what do I know? <laughs> Anyways, let's take a look at the Cameo 4. Okay, so um, it's in a box within a box and I can't get it out. <laughs> I, don't, I don't know how the AC Studio did it. Let's try this. Ta-da! But you see what I mean? Dear God. Okay, let's open this bag. Software download, user guide, and free content. So, content slash, slash, dear God, subscription, visit this. And I think these are the different blades you could buy. Dun, 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 dun. Okay. To figure this out. I hate taking things out of the box.
Okay. I'm gonna move it onto my desk. glance it is the same size and width as the Cricut Maker but it is so much lighter that's crazy because the Cricut is freaking heavy so we're gonna set it up etc all the things um, yeah and then we're gonna start doing testing how exciting is that mm-hmm mm -hmm. let's get started okay just gonna spin this around and then I will show you. My finger can't get this one. Oh, it is just a piece of foam. Just take all these off. Oh, I think that's another piece of foam. Come on, one piece of tape. Piece of foam. Okay, so remove all the tape. Sorry, I have something playing in the background. Maybe I should pause it. Remove all the tape and foam from the machine. Oh, there's one on the back. Okay, you know what, guys? Sorry if I'm blocking your view, but we will get to it in a second. Okay. Great. And then what? Connect the silhouette. Cameo to power supply and plug the power cord into an outlet. Do not connect the USB to your computer. All right, so where are the power plugs? Over here. Oh, 
it's just right here on the side. How nice. Connected the power cord. Now what? Power it on by pressing the power button. Oh, I see. Okay, so now I have to install the software for Silhouette Studio. And then I launch it and then connect. So I'm going to do that now. Spin you around. Okay, so um, I'm trying out the Silhouette Studio right now, um, and I'm ooh, trying to sort that out to see how it goes. We're just doing our first test print and cut um, to see how it works, fingers crossed. Uh, online labels, which is where I get my sticker sheets, um, sorry, sticker paper, has a... Uh, guide online on their website that tells you um, like the blade force and stuff for silhouettes and for crickets and stuff so it's actually really cool so I'm testing it out using that but we're gonna see um, so I'm gonna test it out using this and then we're going to uh, aha okay so we're going to adjust everything, photo paper, it's on glossy paper, oh, wrong, it's supposed to be on this, so glossy paper with high, obviously, and we're going to print that, crack this open, um, I need to buy more mats online. coming out the printer right now so we're just gonna wait for that while I drink my root beer. In other news, another wasp flew in my, into my room today. <sighs> That's four and the most recent one was only like three or four days ago so it's starting to increase which means not good. Lip chap. Blistex Blue Lip Medics is the only lip balm that really works. If you like the green one, I'm sorry, we can't be friends. I'm really nervous. Okay. So, they go on both ways. Oh, this is a standard grip. It's gonna be so sticky. Okay. I'm gonna go on Amazon and order the light grip mats because standard I think is too tacky. Yeah, definitely. Okay. 
slowly. It's coming out slowly. Can you even see that? I don't think so. Okay, and it just popped up. So I'm going to give it a little bit of time to dry because I find that my stickers, whenever I print them on the clear glossy sticker paper from online labels, it does take a little bit longer to dry. And if I touch it too soon, I smear the ink. It gets all over my hands and then it takes the ink away from the page. So dry, my friend, dry. And then we load it the way it says, but like, look at how clear these are. <laughs> Let's see if I can adjust you. Look at how clear this image is. Like, how crazy is that? I'm blind, so I can't tell if this is actually focused or not. Can you even see? There you go. <laughs> I'm so bad. Okay. Let's try and attach it now. Uh, okay, we have to adjust all of these again because I accidentally unadjusted it. So let's stick the piper on fast. Wait, how come it didn't print registration marks? Okay, right, so, registration marks, not on there. Okay, so, take three. Now, how do I get the registration marks? So we're try ready to try this again. Uh, you have to go to advanced um, settings in the where you see the registration marks for the inset. So you have to hit advanced so that you can move all four corners separately rather than using the one where it just shrinks and opens, oh, excuse me, the whole thing all together. Whew, okay. We're gonna try this one more time. All right, fingers crossed, registration marks show up and everything properly, yeah. And I have class in like half an hour. <laughs> Registration marks are on all three corners, and it looks good. All right, and now is the time we try and test this baby out. Ooh. Ooh. Okay, 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 okay. That needs to dry a little bit anyways. Okay, I honestly don't know what to do with the other stickers. Maybe I'll cut them out hand cut as die cut stickers. Because, bro. What am I supposed to do with you? Okay guys, so round 15. I'm gonna print another one because this one, I don't think I did it right. Okay. 
Okay, I'm going to show you guys on the screen what to do because I feel like this would be very helpful when, oh, trying to figure it out the first time. So, um, to get all of this, I had to go to view, show print border, show cut border, and registration marks. And on the panels, I went to page settings because I was so confused. So, this is where it brings you to. Everything is autoed here. And then, here, I realized media size. I was on a 12 by 12 which isn't what I wanted. I'm technically in a US letter, so I selected this, but of course they have A4, A5, A6, 5x7, etc. So I had to click the letter, which gave me this, constrain media to cutting mat, which makes sense, and the orientation is this way. Show, make sure you have show print border and show cut border, um, just so you know where everything is and that your media fits within those registration marks. And then if you go to here, which is the registration marks, make sure they're on because originally they were off, which is why I didn't print. And then um, it's at its default and then you can choose to print bleed or not, but I'm not going to. So hopefully this works. So I'm gonna do it one more time. <sighs> Checking to make sure everything is good. It is, so we're going to print. Okay, this pops up going to my 100. I'm going to quality and media. Obviously, this is different for every single computer or printer. What am I doing? Printer, so do that according to what you want it to be. And then we're printing this. It's gonna take a little bit of time, so I will see you guys once it's printed. So now that that's done, I'm gonna try, the pr try it. Wow, we printed like three sheets and I haven't even cut it yet. So we're gonna try it. Um, I did just read that you should not have anything within this like shaded area up here. So let's hope that it works because apparently it can cause you to have a miscut. Like, uh, so we're gonna test it out and pray to God it works. Okay, so as you can see, I'm on my class call, but this cut like completely off. What the F? Like, look at that. Okay, so I'm just gonna peel them off and we're gonna try it again. Ooh, it's done. It's done. Okay, let's see it. Watch me struggle. Okay. It is a little off, a little off. It's not perfect, but it's better than the first time. Oh my God. Okay, 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 okay. Let's look at this. I feel like this is more paper waste. Blah, blah, blah. Okay. Do, do, do. So peels. Oh god, you can't even see this. <laughs> I can't show you guys. Okay, let's see.
Ba 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 Hmm. Want to back around? Toilet paper roll. Can you see or am I crazy? I'm probably crazy. But it did work out. It is slightly off cut, so I'm going to have to figure this out. Well, class is over, um, so I'm going to continue cutting these die cut ones by hand and um, I will see you guys a little later, either today, later or tomorrow, I have no idea yet. We're going we're gonna to figure this out together. Okay, see you in a bit. Okay guys, so I finished, I finished cutting. Those sheets that got messed up. My hand hurts so much. When people tell you that hand cramps are real, they are real when cutting things. So they're all in these little things or cello bags right now. Um, because I don't have anything to put them in, I might have to make some little packages to put these mini stickers in and then probably sell them as seconds. Um, but yeah. Um, I guess we'll be testing more of the silhouette either later today. I'm starting to get hungry, so I'm going to make dinner first or tomorrow after my lab at 8.30 in the morning that I have to go really far for. Pretty much on the other side of the city. So, yeah. My back hurts. Oh my god, I've been slouching this whole time now that I think about it. Uh, we're too close. Yeah. Am I focused? I think so. Um, yeah. So. Oh god. There's another sheet! I lied! Oh god. You know what? I'm gonna see if I can cut this. But now I don't know. Uh, I cry. Yeah, no, I'm going to have to cut that by hand. I don't think I'm going to be able to do it through the Cricut again. I mean, oh, I said Cricut. The cameo. Okay, so three destroyed sheets, four destroyed sheets, and the fifth one finally worked. Damn, that's intense. But, I mean, Cricut ate quite a bit of my peppers, too. <laughs> All right. Well, they're not exactly destroyed sheets, thank God. I just have to cut them by hand, so... Only one technically destroyed sheet, three ones that I didn't cut, and the fifth one came out right. <laughs> I'm starting to go crazy now. <laughs> okay, anyway, I'll see you guys soon. Bye! Good morning, guys. It is Tuesday, and I just got back from, well, not just, it's probably been like an hour since I got back from my lab. Um, I've just been doing a little housekeeping in my bullet journal as in writing down all the things that I have to do this week yeah it's a list so um, I'm going to today uh, you know when you just need to like scratch your head like all over or like massage your head all over and it feels so great after yeah that's what I was just doing okay <laughs> so Today I'm going to mainly be working on school stuff because I do want to set things up considering I'm working uh, Wednesday and Thursday night so I'm not going to be able to do much on Thursday and Wednesday after class I work. So 
we're gonna have to do uh, or where I'm gonna do a lot of schoolwork today to try and catch up but I also want to play around with the silhouette a little bit more and uh, also I'm hoping to possibly um, sort of finish off the flower press that I made or in the middle I'm in the middle of making dad and I mainly dad um, drill the hole or the four holes in the two planks of wood already but I have to go out and find wing nuts because they were out of stock when we went to buy all the products at Home Depot and I also have to get some sandpaper because right now I'm totally afraid of getting splinters yeah I don't want to needle my finger and <laughs> no thank you so that's that mmm I'm just trying to decide what else. I really need to try and cut those notebooks. I'm just very afraid because last time it went really wrong as you guys already saw like just previously. Uh, but yes, I need to, oh, I also need to edit the vlog, the previous studio vlog so that I can put it up on Thursday. Yes, okay, cool. So we'll be bouncing back and forth between those and um, I still have to go make lunch. So I'm probably not even going to start anything. Oh my god, it's 2 o'clock until like 3. Okay, it's printed okay and we're going to carefully attach this on here because my finger tends to smudge all the freaking ink yay okay we're gonna use my laptop as a holder and we're going to and prepare to be annihilated with this cameo sound. It's already read the registration marks. That was literally like three seconds. That sounded like a game. Did you hear that? So it does all of the die cuts first. Doing the last die cut now, and then after the last die cut, it switches to kiss cut. So then it moves off to the side and clicks the auto blade to get it to where it needs to be. And then it starts again. sitting here watching Avatar this whole time and it's done cutting. <laughs> okay, let's pop it out. Okay, just found a wasp in my room. Dad killed it. We went outside, came back. There was a second wasp in my room. I'm so tired.
of wasps being in my room. Yeah, that's it. Hi guys, and welcome to, oh god, what day is it today? Friday. <laughs> uh, um, I have worked later on today again, so currently I just spent the morning uploading my uh, new studio vlog, which is now live, and um, sitting on my bed and seeing if any more wasps come out, because yesterday two more showed up in my room. Um, so I've just literally been sitting on my bed watching Avatar and some studio vlogs and just hoping to see where they're coming from because I can't find the hole in my room. I just, I, I don't know where it is, man. And the wasps are starting to freak me out. Um, I mean, they've always freaked me out, but you know, anyways, so I spent Oh yeah, and then I continued doing some illustrations. I have some new die cut sticker ideas that I want to put out. I mean, it's not really my idea because they're just redraws of one of my favorite animes, which is actually Sailor Moon. So yeah, um, I've just been in the middle of doing some drawing and I've got these so far and um, yeah I'm planning to do the rest of the Sailor Scouts uh, obviously their hair is a little shorter than normal because I didn't want them to be like this big I want them all to be relatively the same size so yes we're starting slash working on that slowly I really want to try and finish them so I can test out the cut on the silhouette which I'm really excited to try and figure out um, just because I want to try like I want to test it some more I want to use this more that's fun um, I might actually cut some of the notebooks today I'm feeling a little braver today maybe I'll put some like card stock or something Ooh, I'll just use the ruined covers from last time to put on top and bottom of it so that it doesn't ruin it again. Okay, cool. Let's take you over to the paper cutter. Um, it took a little bit of time to adjust and figure out that massive guillotine and I've noticed that um, it does leave indentations in the book so I'm gonna see if maybe I can try and flatten it out and fix that but I doubt I will be able to so I'm probably gonna have to sell them as seconds and then at the beginning there were some that I cut and they were like a little wonky I don't know if you can tell but the lines like not straight and neither is the top now that I look at it. It's a little curved. So, um, now I do, when I sell these, I do want people to keep in mind that, of course, they are all handmade, which does mean that there will be some small imperfections and such in the shape and in the cut and things like that. And, like, you know, pages might be per not perfectly lined up. So, um, yeah but they are still absolutely gorgeous and yes I just want I just want people to keep in mind that you know they're not a hundred percent perfect 
but they're still beautiful on the inside which is what matters right so yeah I took some product shots so, and then I'm gonna load them up on my Etsy and they'll be live soon yay um yeah I'm gonna actually upload some listings now I need to oh excuse me take some photos of the other stickers that I also made so I can just put them all up together so we're gonna go do that okay guys so like I said quick little update I wasn't able to get my listing pictures uh, moved on to Etsy it said there's a little technical error so I have to go and figure it out I gotta fix it but that means listings are going to be done today not that they were gonna be up in the shop anyways but um means I'll have to work on it tomorrow yeah and then I think I'm gonna update my shop with the new stickers and the notebooks and everything on Sunday but yeah check out my well even if I tell you now the update will be done by the time you see this vlog um, but yeah uh, now I gotta go to work hi guys uh, so I prematurely recorded an ending for the studio vlog yesterday and turns out today is Friday anyways so I had a class this morning at about 8.30, um, had lunch already and everything, and uh, I also worked on the listings for the new, three of the new stickers, the notebooks, and the notepads. So I have those coming up on Sunday. Um, I do need to put down a post about it, um, either uh, Instagram story or something to share it, otherwise um, no one's going to know that I've launched new stickers. Um, but I'm also really bad at the social media part of this and sharing things, so I need to do that today. Um, what else do I have to do today? Honestly, I have nothing else planned for today. Um, I gotta do some homework. There's a lot of stuff that I need to read and catch up on. Ooh, I have to order scrubs for my Tuesday class. And... Um, have work tomorrow morning and I want to continue working on the Sailor Moon stickers so that I can test out the cut and print. I always look out the window I've realized. Whenever I look this way it's because I'm looking out the window. But anyways, uh, yeah so I'm just going to be doing homework but if I do anything art related uh, you guys can absolutely watch it or you can watch me do homework too. I've got Avatar running while doing homework. <laughs> okay, I'll see you guys in a little bit. feel about the silhouette just yet I just oops I feel like 
I don't know. I feel like it's still the same as the Cricut almost. Like, it's hit or miss. Some of them cut really nicely. Others don't cut as nicely. Some are always centered. The others aren't always centered. Um, so, I'm not quite sure what to do about this. Um, and I still have to figure out that. Oh, guys. Okay. I'm a sort a few things out and I'll get back to you. Okay, so this one turned out better. A lot better. Um, I just need to, uh, I think I'm just putting in the paper like not straight on the uh, mat which is why it's giving me the like some of the um, cuts are a little off, but otherwise they're all pretty good. Okay, so it's working. It's working. Now, to get these off, without focus, sort of, not really, but. They're not too shabby, if I do say so myself. That's it for me testing out and trying to figure this out. Um, I have some schoolwork to do and I'm going to try and figure out how I want to organize all these stickers. Um, some are going to have to be freebies and uh, eventually we'll work to getting this sticker pack done because I would like to get it done but currently I'm still, apparently I still have a long way to go with the cameo. So yeah maybe another week before I get used to this. If anyone has some tips, please help me. Please help me. <laughs> yes, so uh, yeah, I think that's it for the studio vlog. Thank you guys so, so much for watching. Thank you for, bleh. thank you for your support and I really appreciate it. And uh, yeah, I love you guys and I'll see you in the next studio vlog. Bye.